hand, foot, and mouth disease is usually a viral infection. Um, often we'll see this in young children. Uh, often they will have some fevers initially and then start to develop these sores uh, on their hands, feet, and, and mouth. Often it is self-limited, meaning we don't have any medicines for it. Uh, and basically they will get better on their own, just good supportive care, making sure as much as they can uh, they're able to get as much fluids as possible. This can infect older people as well, young adults. Uh, sometimes they don't have any symptoms whatsoever. Often by the time you get older, you've been exposed at some point, and so uh, future exposures uh, may result in, in nothing at all or perhaps a more limited infection. The virus that usually causes hand, foot, mouth disease, one of the Coxsackie viruses, often spread through saliva or contact with stool. Uh, and so in a daycare setting or other setting when you have a lot of young children, uh, they're putting their hands in their mouths, touching all kinds of things. And so that is a great breeding ground for uh, an outbreak of uh, hand, foot, mouth disease.